I used FS tab with this line. Is it possible an external file for a user or password? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for that, you just need to do, uh, instead of doing the username colon your user password equals pass, um, you need to do uh, a just reference um, creds file, I think it is, credential file. Uh, credential file FS tab. Let's see. Should be able to pretty easy. Quick Google search should give us what we need. Credentials. Something like this. So credentials equals, um, I actually don't put it in ETC. I like to put it in root. And obviously chmod 600 uh, SMB credentials. So you'd want S those two commands, really. Uh, you want to make sure it's only re readable by the root command because it's going to have plain text username and password. So only root should be able to read it. And then creds file obviously is just reference. I like to put it in forward slash root, not forward slash ETC, just because you got to be a root user to read it anyways. So that makes sense to me. And the root folders locked down so people don't really even see it anywhere. So I feel like putting the credential file in root. Uh, but for, for the most part, this is a good answer right here. Uh, don't use RO. That's read only. You'd probably want RW, comma auto, um, or even just defaults. E either way. And if you want to mount it as a user instead of the root user, you could put like a UID and specify that during the mounting process as well. I don't really like to mess around with much of that. I just use NFS because SMB sucks. <laughs> <laughs> NFS is faster. NFS better uh, for small environments. Obviously, if you're in a business environment and you need the permissions and need to lock out, like you have an accounting and you have like regular line level and yeah, you're going to need like an SMB with those privilege privileges. But if you're just, hey, do you need access or not? NFS is just so much better for just speed and the headers aren't nearly as big as the SMB.